What is up heroes, this is Minite Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Conquer's Bad Fur Day Blind. In the last episode, a rather rough episode, admittedly, we we got finally, we finally made our way through the Rock Solid Club, and we fought in a sort of Colosseum Gladiator-esque style manner against a dinosaur that we eventually made into our friends, and some cavemen, one including a large bone, uh, and, well, and a small bone. And now I think... We're free to move on to the next segment. There's a tail over there. I wonder if I can actually get that from here, right? Or am I just going to get baited into dying? I don't know. And I'm not really sure I want to risk it just yet. I think I'd rather take this pathway and see where it leads me. Am I going to unlock somewhere new? Or am I just going to end up somewhere else? Back to where I started, maybe? Oh, wait, no. This is the this is the poo area, right? <laughs> So that's just kind of an easy way back. Honestly, I could go without the extra life. So I think we've completed that area. Here we go. Oof. Almost didn't land in the in the poop water there. And that would not have been good. So glad that I hovered close to the end there. And I think if we go up here, we'll be able to make our way out re relatively quickly. So great. And then, there have been a couple other areas we haven't really explored to the fullest. There was that area with the cogs, right? In the waterfall, in that large tower, that I couldn't quite figure out. Um, but after the last episode, I did look up one thing that I could do next. And it seems that after I climbed the tower, I got that cash and... Oh! I got it. Did they... Did they steal the hive again? Interesting. They stole the hive again, it seems. Let's check in on our Queen Bee over here, just to be safe. But, yeah, it seems like I got distracted by that money and then fell, but there's actually more I could do at the top of that tower, so I'm gonna have to reclimb that. Queen Bee, what's going on? Oh, 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 achoo, Mr. Squirrel. I'm so happy to see you. You don't look so happy. Oh, really, I'm happy to see you. Uh, hey, where's the hive gone? Oh. That's just the point. They've stolen it again. And I don't know what to do. If my husband hasn't returned yet, he's a fiend. If he were here, he'd sort them out. It's just gonna have to be somebody else. Oh, <laughs> and who would that be this time, I wonder? Well, you did help us, time. And I don't know what to do. Okay, okay. But what's in it for me? Uh, that money? Yeah, but it'll have to be double last time. Uh, double? Uh, okay, yeah. Treble. <laughs> Treble. Okay, get my heart back. Okay, I'll get it back. But where is it? Just follow the sides again, but you'll have to go a bit further. It was a deep insurgency mission this time. It won't be as easy, I can tell you. Really? Deep insurgency? Hmm. Don't push your luck, Conker. What? Oh, well, okay, fair enough. Oh, it's, hey, look, that looks quite nice over there. I think I'll <laughs> open. Okay, okay, come back. <laughs> um, that'll be two hundred dollars. Hang on a sec, my math isn't that good, but I seem to think it was four hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. Wow, Conker, really taking advantage of other people's misfortune. Not that that doesn't exist in the real world. Don't get me started on that. But. Okay, so Conqueror has quite has driven quite the bargain uh, for four hundred dollars to get that hive back. However, I'm skeptical about going to actually do that right now because you guys, if especially if you've seen my other playthroughs of games, you know I'm a completionist and I really like to complete levels and worlds as I go through them. So I'd like to go and complete that other world before moving on to this mission. Even though now I think we can actually go in here, which is Honestly, very tempting. I actually really want to go and check it out, but I think I am going to go back over this way because we're going to have to climb that tower again and that was the uh, slope. <laughs> can we can we jump here please? Thank you. That's right, we cleaned out this area. In what turned out to be quite the spectacle, but yeah, there were a few different cogs we were looking to get and I think we'll need to climb the tower. Well, I know we'll definitely have to climb the tower again, so Hoping for the best with that. I think we had a flamethrower to help out. But, 
anyways, oh, that's right, the money. We can't get that just yet. We have to help out the catfish for that. It's really funny. I find myself, I really want to come back and play this game every time I put it down. Every night, you it's like I have my time to record. I'm like, what do I want to do? And it's like, yeah, you know, I, I want to play Conquer. But it's also weird because I feel like this game is hilarious. And I love the, the music. I love the art style. I love Rareware, just in general. And I love the humor. I look forward to every cutscene. But there are quite a few times where the gameplay doesn't really live up to the hype. But at the same time, it is still a fundamental 3D platformer and somewhat of a collectathon, which is something that I enjoy. So I feel pretty conflicted about the game, admittedly. Rather, uh, to be more specific, I feel ambivalent, which is a word that I really, really like. <laughs> it means you feel really strongly in opposing directions about something. So, all right, there's our cog, our double, our cog with two personalities. I'm going to have to... Oh, we're probably going to have to talk to him again if we want to activate that, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. That cog, that was a pretty interesting interaction. I remember that. Okay, so let's climb on up. And I think we're going to be doing some jump roping here. And that we're literally going to, you know, jump from rope to rope. And I think the context sensitive button is there for the flamethrower. Oof, that, that timing was really tight. Alright, we're just we're just gonna jump here. Can I jump please? There we go. And hop on over to the platform here. Now depth perception failed me. <laughs> I thought I was grabbing onto the uh, rope there, but to no avail. And I think we have to do this three or so times to get all the way to the top, so. Wish me luck, guys. I tried to speed it up by just floating across, but again, misjudged where I was relative to the platform. Those of you know that whenever I'm, you know, re- Why do you keep pausing like every second, Conquer? That time I overdid it. Lovely, lovely, just lovely. <laughs> Everything's going fine, guys. Everything is fine. All according to plan. But yeah, those of you who have seen me play other games know that I can get impatient when I have to repeat parts of games. It's a bit of a pet peeve of mine, especially if there's, you know, something new, uh, especially if it's like a new challenge, new level, new mechanic, whatever it may be. If I have to constantly replay certain aspects of a game in order to get to that new aspect, just to even try it, just to even try that new challenge, like really long, I don't know, old platformer game levels, I find that quite a bit frustrating. But for the time being, we are doing okay. So let's take a second and hop on this platform and take a look around. So what are we going to see? I remember those guys and that brought us to the money. What else? The camera is like not letting me go towards the midline there. All right, let's try this now. So supposedly there's more going on at the top than I originally thought. I believe the money was over there. Is there something on the other side? Like on the outside of the tower maybe? Because otherwise, I'm really not sure what else I'm supposed to be seeing. I guess I can walk out on this a little bit. It's probably a lot more dangerous than it needs to be. Especially because I can't do anything with the camera. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Down we fall. I'm going to take a look in the middle from this direction and see if I can find anything like this. Are there multiple pathways I could go up here? So I could go that way. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Things seem quite linear. Maybe I can go in there? In that window? That yellow window? Or are there more of those? No, there are more of those, so that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Oh, is that, is that a switch there? Can I activate that switch? I think that might be what I need to do. 
Wow, that's that's pretty well hidden, in my opinion. <laughs> because it doesn't really make its way into the camera here. Oh, no, don't, don't you dare fall, Conker. Don't you dare fall. Yeah, is that... That is a switch. Wow. So... <laughs> tough to see so you'd have to make it to that platform really and jump off that um, jump over there and then once you're over there walk all the way out on the edge of this platform in order to actually see that because otherwise you can see how the camera's changing right it's not gonna let you actually see that all right so we will carefully carefully <laughs> carefully <laughs> walk over here Oh my goodness, guys, I don't like it. Tiptoe, Conquer. Tiptoe. Tiptoe. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. All right, we're going to do, we're going to go for the jump. Land. All right, so we open something up and we fall on this web, which is actually, you know, a lifesaver. So that's nice. Now we have to calmly make our way down calmly <laughs> calmly oh don't change I was lined up on it I was lined up on it guys and and the camera shifted and well then I was no longer in line however I seem to have spawned on this web as opposed to further up what that gave me fall damage Preposterous. Alright, whatever. I don't really care at this point. <laughs> so we unlocked an area underwater, right? So let's go ahead and see if we can find that. I remember the last time we were here, there was an area that I thought would be relevant. Oh, we've got these guys? Oh, and those bubbles provide us with air. Much needed air at that. Uh, do I go up here? What is that that I hear? What do I hear back here? Do I have to go up this way? Yeah, okay, so we're in some sort of pipe system and are those? Is that what I think it is? Are those the cogs? Why do they sound so strange? And why am I having such a difficult time getting them? They clearly move a lot more quickly than I do. So, are you telling me I'm going to have to chase them around, potentially, and then hit them with the frying pan? Yeah, I think that's what's going to have to happen. I'm going to have to push them one way, and then quickly turn back, and get them that way. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, let's see. Let's wait for a moment. What's going to happen if I can get the camera to look in the direction I want? Oh, there's another one over here? All right, well, we can experiment with this one because we can actually run relatively quickly. And so that at least confirms that we need to do something to these cogs. We can't just run up to them and have it work. Where did it go? You guys see that? Where did the cog go? Did it go up here as well? Are there going to be three up here? Yes, no, maybe. Where did that go? What? How is it back? I swear I looked everywhere. Okay. So we got one. Where do I... Where do I have to bring you now? Can I swim with you? I can. Kind of. Yeah, looks like I can. Oh my goodness, don't attack me, don't attack me, please. So, we pick up the cog, and then we try to swim, if the camera would work with me to some degree. <laughs> the, the gargling sort of sound of the... <laughs> and we have to bring each of these cogs back individually, it seems. So here is one. What? What? <laughs> what is with these sound effects? Fantastic. Uh, oh, hang on. I think I got it on the wrong way round. Black bugger, you have. What are you doing? What? 
<laughs> I think I get the joke there. Don't really care to explain though. So, um, now we'll try to go ahead and get a second cog. Swimming with those cogs was less than easy. <laughs> And we did manage to capture the one that I think is probably the easier one to capture. So we'll see how we're able to do with this next one. We've at least confirmed that that's what we need to do. The question is, how in the world are we going to do this? There's got to be a better method for it, right? Maybe? Like I was sort of thinking earlier. Oh, we got it! So we just had to be really right as at the, you know, it's when it's path, when it was turning around, we had to be right there for it. All right, let's see if we can swim a little bit more effectively this time, because we definitely struggled last time. It's weird, it's like they tried to improve upon the, the banjo and Donkey Kong 64 swimming systems and make things a little bit more responsive and fluid, but they're arguably a little too fluid. I think it's mostly the camera that it kind of wobbles all over the place and it's really difficult to keep track of what's going on. But anyways, we got our second cog. Yeah, go on, get to the one on. <laughs> what is with those sound effects? <laughs> this game is so suggestive. <laughs> it's certainly something. All right, only one more cog left. I believe in us. Whoa, where are you going, Conker? Where are you going? All right, one last one. Where is it? So it's going around this way. We'll run this way and turn around. Ah, oh, too out of range. Nice. So I tried to take a sort of inner route there. Stay as close to that central fixture as I could because they don't seem to be taking an optimal path around the, the circular thing of the room and so I think we were able to make up a little bit of distance there and and consequently hit the gear or the cog rather so all right this should be the last one red green and blue it's the fundamental colors of light or something <laughs> it's like thanks for helping me out now that I can't use you get out of here All right, let's take advantage of these cogs now, though. We can get everyone spinning. That includes you, buddy. Yep, he's spinning. And we are getting a good workout in. Wait, what? how is this going to affect the dogfish? Oh, we're retracting it. Uh-oh. <laughs> that can't spell well for our dogfish out there. Twatting shite. That's tossed it right away. I'm doomed to curly it is. Well, I'm free at last. To exact our revenge on this evil cock. Grab him. What a reversal. <laughs> what happened to him now? Oh no! Not Mr. Big Cog! That's me, buggered! Oh, I'm out of here! <laughs> I don't know what his problem is, but I find it rather delicious. Thank you, Mr. Squirrel. Oh, my pleasure. Yes, and I think you'll find that your little problem outside has been thoroughly taken care of. Of course. Now, good day to you, sir. Toffee Loaf. <laughs> Why, thank you, Mr. Squirrel. What? Did we just get kissed by a cog? <laughs> Come on, ladies. It's the Caribbean fun. <laughs> They're going on a vacation. They got Caribbean on their suitcases. That's really funny. All right. Well, um, I guess that works. <laughs> I guess that works. <laughs> then we will head on out. I think we can go not that way, but this way, right? Yeah, to get out of here. And supposedly the dogfish problem has been taken care of. 
So we'll see what's going on there. Yeah! We don't have anything to worry about. Which means, more importantly, the catfish won't have anything to worry about. So let's head on downstream and see if we can let them know that, hey, we've made some progress and see if there's anything left to do. This would be a rather long quest if it were just for one bit of cash. I thought we were going to get some cash for that whole little cog quest dealio. But it doesn't seem so. It seems it's tied to the dogfish and the catfish and we'll eventually get money for that. That squirrel person again? How are you? I say our brutish friend didn't get his vittles today. Yeah, well, time enough for that. Uh, I need the combination. Thanks. Oh, no, 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 you don't, you don't seem to understand. <laughs> what yes, do we not understand? understand us. We can't go about giving away classified information like that just to anybody. Wow. We will open the safe, won't we, ladies? Hmm. Lead the way. Hmm? Uh oh. I don't think our catfish friends are going to meet with a very fortunate fate when they run into those enemies. We experienced quite the tragedy many a times at the hands of those monsters. Whatever they are. However, it seems they're having a difficult time catching up to us. Which is, you know, not something I'm going to complain about. Now then, ladies. There he is. Oh, oh look at him. Poo-poo to you. <laughs> Poo-poo to you. <laughs> yes, let's told him. <laughs> Hope he doesn't break free. He's bad temper, doesn't he? Now, um, no. where were we? Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> Changing it from wrong to right? What? That's that's all it was? Wrong from the wrong combination to the right combination? Alright, I mean I guess I guess we'll head inside here. What is going on in here? Hello? Um hello? Money? Money? <laughs> the money's sleeping, it's been alone for so long. Who the hell are you? You ain't my boss. I'm out of here. I'm swimming with the fishes. <laughs> oh, this gate gets worse and worse by the minute. What is going on in here? So we have those guys. There's the back end of the safe, I guess. Oh boy, what? <laughs> What nonsense are we going to get ourselves into right now? So, T-E-S-P-U-N-H-O. Um, so I guess the question is, what are we going, what, what's the proper passcode, right? Is he going to attack me? Oh, what? I thought I would attack him and that would be something good. Interesting. Let's see here. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I guess let's, let's try to just even hit one of these in the first place, right? We'll not only have to aim, but we'll actually have to, you know... Oh! Interesting. Get out of there, get out of there, Conquer! Okay, so we cannot effectively move in time, unfortunately. Are we supposed to know the password yet? Is it supposed to be a word that I know? Let me let me write down the letters real quick, just so I can think about this without having to stare at this uh, this all the time. P U N H O T E S. P U N H O T E S. Right. 
So that's actually a lot more letters than I initially expected. There's not a lot that comes to mind immediately for that P-U-N-H-O-T-E-S. Just kind of some anagram of that. The only other thing is, is it two words that need to be descrambled and put together, right? Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So, I think... Yeah... I'm thinking about it, and I can't really think of much off the top of my head. So I'm wondering if we need to find the password somewhere else? Right? Is that what we need to do? Or... Are, are the catfish friends gonna tell me if, you know, I'm, I'm on the right track, or... Is there any sort of hint I could get, or am I supposed to find the password somewhere else, is the other question. The catfish are still following me. I think we need to open up that passcode in order to open up those doors, right, that are covering where the money jumped in. And that leads me to wonder how we're actually going to get the money that comes afterwards, towards the beginning of the level, right? What quest is related to that? Maybe it'll just come later on. I'm not sure. I wish I could confirm whether or not I'm supposed to guess the, the word from now, or if I'm supposed to come back after finding it somewhere else. But again, I highly doubt we would need to find it somewhere else in the level, or somewhere in some other world, right? It's got to be in the level itself. So I think... I think we're just going to have to try to decipher it ourselves right now. We have five catfish. We have a dogfish. Hmm. We are in a safe. We dealt with the cogs. There's a tower. What could be the answer here? Is this some sort of hint? Does it tell me it starts with N? Probably not, but... But let's think about it. I guess I could try to guess the, the first letter and see how that goes. I could always, you know, get some... I could always afford to get a couple wrong, go get some chocolate, etc. And sort of figure it out that way. So the N was incorrect. Run, Conquer, run! Oh, that actually... So we did actually manage to survive that attack um, by running out in time. But we have to be pretty quick. So it's not N. I would bet that it's S. Just because S is that kind of letter. Like, we're going to start with an SH word. That didn't quite count. I feel like Young Link here with my slingshot. It was not S. Okay. So we'll write that out. The other thing is, the game could be keeping track of, oh, you have not found the password, so no matter what you do first, you're going to get it wrong, right? Hmm, maybe T. That sounds like another good starter letter. So we'll get ready to aim at T. I think this should hit it. Let's hope. I think that sound effect was a good sign. And... Hmm. No, I was noticing that some of the letters are red, and some of them are orange, right? So, but I don't think... Oh! Is it saying open something? Because the O, the P, the E, and the N are all in orange, and T, S, U, and H are all in red. So maybe we have to choose the word, and it's not that we have to use all of them, so it's probably open or shut, right? Right now it's shut, so we would need to hit open. Wow, that's um, that's pretty obtuse, honestly. <laughs> that's pretty obtuse, but just because the red and the orange are so subtle, too. But that's all right, I guess. Um, 
<laughs> That's kind of funny. How frequently do you hear that sound effect, right? So there's OP. E is there. Okay, we have to wait for it to come around. Yeah, and I don't know if there's like a hint anywhere about this, but... This would be... I feel like this would take a while. <laughs> Alright, so we open the doors. The real question is... What madness is it going to lead to? Another... Another context-sensitive button. And it's on this, like, mine thing. Oh boy, guys. I, I hope you guys are ready. <laughs> so we got a headlamp on. Lovely. Um... Now what? Swim underwater, I guess. Explore the, the deep below. I can hit this again. Doesn't do anything? No. Okay. Let's head on down. What in the world are we going to find? And where in the world is my air? This is not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. What? Conqueror's gonna die. Conqueror's gonna die. I need my air. Okay. I thought that was gonna be the money, actually. Where is the money? And where is that thing that attacked us? What even is it? Some, like, machine fish? It's pretty cool looking. We'll wait for it to go up again. And then we'll head on down. Sure, it's taking its time. Okay. Is the money all the way at the bottom? So we've got one of those fish things. There's uh, there's some air at the bottom, so we'll try to make our way down to that. Lovely. And now what? Uh, do I go there? No. It looks like it's only that, that green area there. So we're gonna pick up some air first. And then, I guess we'll head on in that direction. It seems those fish are also heading here, so I'll probably get hit by that along the way. But it's okay, I guess. Oh boy. What is going on up here? Come on, Conquer, you can make it. You can make it. You're turning blue. And we barely make it in time. Jeez. We can jump up onto here again. Oh, interesting. Was our light running out or something? Were we running out of batteries? I didn't notice. But now we can go through the blue tunnel, I guess. There's no air there, which is quite concerning, to be honest. We're probably going to get hit by that. We don't, much to my surprise. And so now I think we're in a different room. Maybe. Come on, Conquer. Whew. Close call where there's a switch that we can pull. Okay. So that's a new area we can go to. Where else can we go in here? So we came in from the blue. We can go down green or up green, right? I don't know which one to go through. There's green. So we came in through blue. But what's interesting is now both of those are green, right? I think we came in from the bottom one, though, because we were moving against the flow of the fish in order to get here, right? And I don't see... Yeah, okay, so there's a fish that confirms the direction. So I think we actually came in from that bottom one. So let's go in the top here. Hope we don't get hit. Hope for the best plan for the worst, right? Okay. So I think we're we're living. We're here again. Refreshing our light. Now the question is, do we go yellow? I think we go yellow, but do we go up yellow or down yellow? Guys, this is so confusing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's go. Let's go up yellow, I guess. See where it takes us. 
The other question is, does it matter if we go in the upper route or the lower route? I don't actually know. However, I will note that we can get some air here. But also importantly, I believe this is the area that we just opened up. Yeah, I think so. So let's go up and get some air again. Because we are going to be turning blue soon. I hope that this isn't just the way we came down though. It looks like the same area that was in the cutscene, which is usually a good sign, meaning we probably opened up a new area, unless that area locked itself after we entered, which is a possibility. But I don't know. Alright, I know that we probably should wait another cycle before we go up again, but I'm a bit impatient. Okay, we're up here, and it's a different place. Okay. Where is this taking us? Where is this taking us, guys? Where am I? Where? What happened to my helmet? What happened to my headlamp? I want to see. What the heck? Well, it seems like they're having a good time. Yikes. So here's a context sensitive button. Um, these guys are running all over the place. I see chocolate on both sides. I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of battle here. Oh no. I should have known. Oh no. My least favorite gameplay Drunk Conquer. So, are we gonna try to put out their fire with P? I think that's actually what's happening right now, guys. That's actually quite funny. Um, albeit ludicrous. Now, the real question is, what's like the what's like the wind condition, right? Do I need to? Put them oh there we go so the big difference is that I'm burning while oh so do I is there no way to heal right now is there no like tonic I can use to sober up but something I initially thought I just needed to put out their fires but it turns out, I think I need to go a bit beyond that and instead, I guess, get them to vanish afterwards. And maybe I need to defeat a certain number of them to put out, like, one large flame or something. But we're going to be doing the wonderful mechanic of going back and forth between drinking so that we can fill up our urine and then sobering up so that we can fill up our urine again. I wish they just gave it, like... I don't know, you weren't so intoxicated, you, were, you weren't so slow, and you just had unlimited amount of urine you could use, but... Oh well, I guess. Alright, so we come here, they're gonna start approaching. Let's see here. Come on, poof! Alright, well, that's alright. Because we got one of them, I think. And we should be able to get this guy. Yes, nice. How about this guy? We got him in time. And we are out. Let's do the big, big guy. Uh-oh, I don't like the sound of that. 
Oh, it's a furnace. Makes sense. <laughs> what is going on in there? <laughs> like they're driving it. It's gonna like stand up and have arms and... Oh man. I really like the design of this boss. What? Oh, I see what you mean. Balls of the brass are polished to the nth degree. Oh, no. <laughs> a bourgeois big ball of boiler. That's all I do. Oh, my goodness. This, this design is hilarious, to say the least. So, the question is, why are there these things here? Okay, so I need to do the large... Oh, interesting. First of all, is it singing? It kind of sounds like it. Oh. What? So, this boiler <laughs> has balls of brass. And amidst all of this is, is coming at you trying to, you know, fry you. And in order to cool him down, you basically bait him into coming after you, and then cover him in sewage, and in doing so, you cool him down briefly, stun him, and then he goes to the center, and you go and take bricks and smash his balls with them. <laughs> what a game, guys. What a game. At the very least, I like that the button press is involved, the mechanics aren't, like, crazy... Uh, not, not, they're very crazy in a conceptual sense, but not crazy from, like, a mechanic sense. Like, I'm not running around all over the place. There's not a lot of space in between attacks and that sort of thing. And with what I am doing, it's not mechanically very difficult. It really draws attention to the ludicrousness of just the situation at hand, the hilarity of the boss itself, and it's been, it's been fun. So pretty soon it looks like they're going to overheat. Alright, so we can do this, and... Oh! So it seems that we cannot... Oof. We cannot reuse the same handle. Have we used this one before? Seems so. So we'll jump over that. And here's one. Alright, great. So we'll go on over this way. Come on over, bud. We're over here. Come on. Over here. Oof. Maybe I shouldn't have been that aggressive about baiting him over here, but that's alright. This should do the trick. One last ball bust, and uh, <laughs> we should be alright. <laughs> wow. Conker's really laying it on him. And down goes the bourgeoisie big bollocked boiler. <laughs> of course it's the self-destruct button. That was funny. So, do we have to do we have to fight these guys? I think so. All right. Wait. Interesting. So, what do I need to do for these guys? Do I need to just hit them properly? Cause it doesn't look like I can go get drunk. 
I certainly can still take damage. Can I drain them in sewage? No, I don't see the handles anywhere. So... Hmm. I would think I need to pee on them like I did earlier. But it doesn't seem to be working, really. Do I need to do something with these balls? Do I need to crush them with the balls of brass? So it appears I need to do something with the balls, but I don't really know what yet. So where could I use... Where could I use some brass balls? I don't really know just yet. I'm tempted to try to hit them with it, but that didn't seem to be incredibly effective. Right? So where do I bring these? They're, they're getting ready to attack me, no doubt. I want to attack back with these, with these brass balls, but I'm not really seeing the connection. Did they just push it for a little bit? Interesting. Do I need to bring it to this pipe here? Doesn't seem like it. Maybe, maybe this indentation here? Unlikely, but, but hey, I'm willing to give it a go. Yes. Okay, so we've opened up this door here, which we can pro which is on a bit of a slope. So I think we're gonna want to bring the other ball there. I don't see an indentation in the floor anywhere else. So yeah, I think that's the last thing we're gonna have to do. So let's let's rock and roll, conquer. Alright, so we've broken through, finally. And I don't think we'll be defeating these guys anytime soon, so let's let's hope that this brings us our cash. That is what I wanted to hear. Right back at the beginning, where we started. So, you want some great stuff? <gasps> Yeah, cash prizes. That was pretty funny, though. I honestly think that was probably one of my favorite boss fights so far. Probably my favorite. Oh, good ladies! Now you have some money. Now, give us back our money, honey, and we'll get your dollar. What? A dollar? Yes, yes. No, ten percent, as we agreed. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, ten. Ten dollars. <laughs> All that? Ten dollars. I thought you said it was a fortune. It is a fortune. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Here's a new deal. I keep the lot. See ya. Chink. <laughs> just, just a minute here, you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, um, ladies, never mind the money for now. I think it's time we were off. Tally ho. <laughs> Tally ho. Only ten dollars. They're talking about the fortune and everything. All right. Well, let's head on after them. I guess the only other question is, can we do something to... I guess maybe we're chasing after them, or... I don't know. Are we trying to avoid the dogfish ourselves? I think so. What? <laughs> wow! How gruesome! Oh my goodness! They zoom in and everything, they show the dogfish just obliterating that catfish. <laughs> so the, the dogfish is really going at it. Quite gruesome. What? Are we supposed to be baiting the dogfish into getting all of the catfish? I think so. 
and he missed one along the way. Wow, that was really high up. Come on. We need you to take out these guys, too. The people that are coming for our money. <laughs> but yeah, the cutscene and everything was quite hilarious. So there's no way we're going to outspeed this thing, but we made it back safe enough. The blood in the water. <laughs> run, Conquer, run! Watch the dogfish turn out to be, like, friendly to Conquer. Oh, it's a Jaws reference! <laughs> that is really funny. So now the dogfish is stuck there. And it's gonna be a platform for us to get the money on top. That is so funny. Hey, over here. Wow, a lot of money up here. Oh, you want some great stuff? Yeah, a lot of it. Cool. I'll be able to get rid of my mortgage and buy my car. <laughs> really speaking to the adults playing, are you, Conquer? Can I just say that I love this music here. Like, this part of this level has some of my favorite music in the game easily. But anyways, I think that I think that covers everything, right? We couldn't get back into the safe. We did the cogs. We got to the top of the tower. We got that money. We did everything with the dogfish. The catfish are dead. <laughs> so, Conker's not about to get scammed by anybody. He's all about that money, and, well, he, he delivers. So I think that covers that. Let me see, how much money do we have? $1,810. That is quite a bit of money. So good stuff. And I will say, I really enjoyed this song. This song in particular, I... Yes, my brothers are probably so annoyed. I've listened to it all the time around the house. Definitely one of the highlights of this game. So that was a pretty cool world. I like that quite a bit. It honestly might have been my favorite overall. I really like the prehistoric theme, but the gameplay just wasn't that great. But this one, I feel like, aside from the platforming of those ropes, was fine. And I think really emphasized the hilarity of, you know, the comedy, right? But I want to check back in this area here to see if there was anything more we could do. I remember we were trying to cross a bridge and couldn't quite get across because one of the planks broke or something. Can we not get here yet? Or what? What? <laughs> Seriously? Uh, I completely missed on the very first jump. Lovely. So we'll, we'll try again. I would think we're maybe getting close to doing that. There's obviously... Oh, that's right. The hive uh, is something we could go to next. And then there was that mountain in the middle, right? We got past those weird worm things. And they were like, you're going to need a ton of money to get past here. Can I get over here? I don't think so. Did that say, like, Federal or Feral Reserve? I think so. But either way, I'm not seeing much of a difference here. So, I don't think we can really do much here at the moment. So, I guess the next thing we'll be doing, then, is heading to where the hive was stolen again. And seeing if that's a whole new world that we can explore. If so, that's awesome. I'm admittedly somewhat biased and looking forward to it because yellow is my favorite color. No, surprisingly not green. Feral Reserve. Interesting. Um, so I generally like yellow and black uh, color schemes. And that's why the world and with the honey and everything is something I'm looking forward to. But... Yeah, I think we've completed quite a bit in this particular episode. I hope you guys are looking forward to the next one because, of course, we're going to be exploring that honey-filled world in the next episode. This one was actually a really fun one. I enjoyed this one quite a bit. That world was really cool. It had some really funny moments, some cool movie references. I love the contrast of just, like, some of, like, the gore of this game with the ridiculously cartoony-ish, you know, characters. And some of the very literal funnel, funny joke terms, right? Like catfish, dogfish, etc. And yeah, um, it was a good one. I hope you guys liked it too and are looking forward to the next one. But until the next episode when we explore that honey world, or I don't know if there's something else we can do, but I think we've got much, much else. Um, anyways, <laughs> until we explore that honey world, this has been Night Zero. 
and this mission is complete.